the mixed feelings. I felt like I was still in Nigeria, like that feeling. I felt like it's almost the same thing. There's nothing I can do. I had my hair done here. I also had a movie night, a very lovely foreign try. I tried, but I couldn't. I gave up. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay. Um, what am I trying to say? Okay, hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'll be sharing my experience. I first of all went to the market, the local market here in Ghana. So getting to Ghana, Accra, Ghana, I decided to settle down a little, though it still shows on my face. You can see this face has actually been stressed. Okay. I was literally stressed. I was stressed. So and it shows on my face this is actually the first time that i'm being stressed and it shows on my face so after trying to rest the level i decided to go to their local market to get some few things so when i got to the market i was i was amazed okay the local market looks exactly like our nigerian market like just a little few things here and there that looks different okay so this is me in the market the local market in accra ghana so this is inside their market. I was just moving carefully, trying to familiarize with the whole thing, the whole place, you know. And I didn't even go alone. I couldn't go alone. So I had someone escort me to the market. So this is the market. First of all, when we got to the market, we had things that we wanted to blend, to grind. So first of all, located their section where they grind things so that we can actually grind what we came with before we start the main buying. Because we came to buy for the month okay and there is also one thing people don't understand ha huh. life in ghana is expensive like what oh my goodness it's so freaking expensive things are expensive you cannot even believe it you can't believe it yes you make the money here you also spend it life is is expensive things are really expensive as it comes that's how it's going okay so this is us at the place where we are grinding after filtering arranging grinding the man settled doors we had to forge ahead and then start properly with the shopping i couldn't actually document the whole thing because oh my goodness it felt awkward okay because i haven't really really done this kind of vlogging before okay so this is me trying to see if i can if i can try it give it a try so please your comments your like will actually go along with me so that i can know that i'm actually making sense so please if you're seeing this video don't forget to like comment share your thoughts anywhere you feel the the video is not actually making sense or i'm not doing it well, you can actually call me to order via the comment section calmly and respectfully i will appreciate that so this is us actually buying all the things that we need and their meat there's something about their meat you know in nigeria the sell according to easy counting yeah by counting the kind of eight five hundred eight pieces of meat five hundred but here the sell with scale like they will scale your meat and tell you the price that is how they sell here in Accra, Ghana. they sell with scale i was like wow is it good i've been cheated in nigeria is it cheating is it good like <laughs> okay so that was it they will force the head you bought you continue buying continue buying and then almost the moon that we came out with at some point the pocket became it became flat <laughs> it became literally flat it became so flat because things are expensive life is expensive nigerians are shouting like i think it's everywhere it's everywhere you understand so you complaining from where you are you think is fair or better in another place is not my darling you just have to think out a way to survive in that stiff economy just think out a way think out of the box that's basically it after doing all the whole shopping we still needed to go get some plantains so this is all surprising them and the plantain ha 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 it wasn't cheap it was it, it's not cheap even in nigeria it's not cheap everywhere is not cheap so my dear stop complaining and think out the way the, the, the bible says you should think out your salvation 
work it out think it out okay and stop complaining get up get up get up and get things done so after doing this whole shopping i need to show, show my face a little so this is the face behind the camera the camera woman so we finished shopping this is what we got if i tell you how much all these things you're seeing here cost you won't believe it so we're here trying to order an uber that will come take us man the Uber is telling us he's there, he's there, he's there. We are waiting. We couldn't. We had to look for another alternative. So this is us finally getting a taxi that will take us home. After shopping, I'm already stressed again. Couple the distress that I've been stressed before previously. I'm already stressed again. So this is us heading home. Thankfully, we got home successfully, and I was so tired. I couldn't vlog again. Baby girl has to drop the phone and concentrate because the, my body was in this stress. My stress was stressing. It's also stressing okay so we got home we got home and um that was it for the market experience the next day i decided to make my hair so this is me heading to a salon to actually have my hair done washed and then make a new one maybe it has to be on fresh so I decided to move out i came out around let's say that kind 11 11 a.m ghana time to make my hair yes and i finished this hair before 4 p.m something that can never happen in nigeria <laughs> oh my god i'm just being sincere okay this is me being sincere it cannot happen in my country you know the woman was so fast it was painless it was no wonder they call it ghana weaving like she actually braided the hair like a Ghanaian. And I felt it. The hair was giving, literally, it was giving. And this, the attachment, the attachment is, I think, is softer than the one we use in Nigeria. The attachment is, is softer. Because when I was actually helping her with it, when I felt the texture, it was so soft. It was, yeah, it was soft. And it was nice though. So one of these attachments was sold for 30 CDs. 30 CDs. So I bought two for my hair. I was waiting for her to finish and then this is the style that I wanted to make. I showed it to her. So I was just waiting patiently. So this is her starting the whole process. She was so fast. The woman, the woman is a machine in fact. She was so fast, highly organized. As she's making the hair, she's arranging, she's touching, she's placing, she's, she's everywhere. And her work is so neat. It was giving, like, I'm sure we'll make her my customer. So this is me helping her, giving her the bread because she doesn't have any other stuff, just her. So we got busy. I was still trying to vlog. If I give, I will drop my phone. I will still take it up. I will still, because I love you guys. I just want to carry you guys along on my trip and my lifestyle and everything. I've showed her the style. She just looked at it once. She just started doing her magic. This woman was, was so fast. So at some point, I started sleeping. Yeah, I was sleeping on duty because her hand was penless. I started sleeping. Sometimes I want to fall. My phone wants to fall. She'll be like, yo, don't hold your phone. On this. She was so nice. If it's Nigeria, they will be pushing your hair. They will, they will just push it like this. Keep your hair in one place. But she was just so nice. He said she would even smile with me. She would be like, <laughs> you're sleeping. I'll be like, I'm so sorry. You know? judging from where i'm coming from you have to apologize if they will push your hair they will tell you stop sleeping you're stressing me your hair won't come out nice you know she was so nice if not that i'm standing in i'm sitting in front of a mirror sorry if not that I'm sitting in front of a mirror, I would say that there's an extra hand that is helping this woman. Because her fast was indeed fasting. She was actually fast. So she kept on going, doing it, penless, you know, all those still cheerful, doing it, you know. I, I really, I really enjoyed making my hair in her salon. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I totally enjoyed the few hours I spent in her shop. So that was it kept on going kept on going i kept on vlogging kept on making videos for my lovely viewers this is this woman if i could say boom this woman is already in front of me like she's with the last seats in front 
Oh my goodness, I was amazed. I was like, Kai, I'm excited. Kai, but this thing shall cannot happen in my country. How can this woman be this fast? My country that will make one, they will see someone passing, they will leave your hair and be talking. They would they will eat, they will wee, -wee they will poop, -poo, they will do everything before they will finish making your hair. They will gossip or the gossip that is on top and still stress you that is is making the hair. They will stress you, stress themselves and still you go late. But this woman, in few hours, she was done with her work. She still entered another one. Ah, goodness. I feel like giving this woman a hug right now. I, I just feel like giving her a hug. She did an amazing work. And boom, we are done. So this is how it came. We are almost done. Yeah, let's say 80% done. So this is how the hair came out. My attachment was not enough. So she just had to dash me another little, little attachment. So that I can actually finish this hair. So she went out to get more attachment from the one that she had. So she just used it to finish the hair. And that is me, all glowy. We are not even done with the hair and I'm this beautiful. Wait for, wait for the finishing touch. When this woman finished with me, it was giving. She started trimming the hair, started trimming all the excesses and all the nyama nyama and all the, you know, she was just trimming it carefully, patiently, you know trimming them all out and me i was busy with my phone vlogging for my people <laughs> so this is how she decided to you know coil them out because from what i ordered the mouth was coiled so she, she she had to you know do this before we now put it in hot water her using light on my hair i thought about what what like what what are you doing do you want to burn my hair? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So I was literally using fire on my head. Oh my God. I was saying in my mind the blood of Jesus. I would not die. My hair would not catch fire. <laughs> so this is her done with the hot water and everything. And look at this hair. The hair is giving everything that it's supposed to give. I loved my hair. It was so neat. It was painless. It was, it was good. Saturday night, I decided to have a movie night. That is weekend. I decided to have a, a movie night. So tonight, I want to see a movie. This night is a movie night. So let's go see a movie. Going through Netflix, going through everywhere, um, Prime, YouTube, searching for what to watch because I was so bored. I was so bored. So I, I saw the men's club yeah my favorite movie so i thought it was the latest one so i was just watching it watching it and i said oh, since i'm hungry let me go down take some chips and some cup of tea to step down you know so this is me in the kitchen trying to fix myself a cup of tea so that i can feel good and relax to so calm my nerves and enjoy the movie so i went to the fridge picked up the milk and then had to boil my water then how to take my chips, head back to the room, and enjoy my movie in peace. Because I don't like stress. <laughs> okay? I just, I just want to relax. You know, relax. And feel good in this Ghana. In this Accra that I am. I don't want stress. So this is me preparing my tea for myself and by myself. Thank you. So after doing this, I have to head back to the room to enjoy my movie. I was so anticipating this the uh, men's club season three. I was so anticipating. I thought it was the latest. I was just rushing maybe because see this movie like getting there. I found out that it wasn't the latest movie. I kept on waiting, trying to understand what is happening and what's going on. Still sipping my tea and enjoying my snacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was trying to understand what these people want to do. Like, you don't tell me this. And I saw latest. I saw, yeah, I saw, is it latest added? I'll be added latest on Netflix. I thought it was a recent movie, like a recent movie, but it wasn't. I've seen the same before. I've seen it before. So after this part, I couldn't I take to keep it. I just had to... again, looking for what to watch. I was, I was getting fed up already. I was like, is this what people call movie nights? Like, remove it i had to search lie down it was not good sit down it was not good it no more the movie was not moving in at all okay it wasn't really moving i went on searching 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 and then i found one i found one i was watching it at some point i wasn't feeling it 
<laughs> I wasn't feeling it. I'm a movie kind of person. I love movies. I love good movies, like really good movies. So when I see all these um movies that are not that don't make any sense, it irritates me. I get bored easily. So this is me exciting, searching because I need to watch a good movie. What's going on here? Why can't I find a good movie? Now that I'm in the mood to see a movie on Netflix, I can't find a good... I've, I've literally seen all the good movies in that Netflix. No recent one again. I've seen it all because I'm a movie freak. And I go for I've the best. Like, I go for a good movie. I've watched this Yes. Before. So I was just looking for the latest one. Let me just come down. Let me just keep watching. Let me just see what this American movie is. It looks like it will be sweet. I'm not a fan of American movies. You keep watching it? But this foreign movie, I'm not a fan. I stick to my roots. To see a new Which is Nigerian. Purely Nigerian movie. So as I was just... Just so watching this one. From the beginning, self, I I wanted to remove it. I fast forwarded. I backwarded. I, I said, Jim, let me just calm down and see this movie. The beginning seems cool, seems nice. I was watching it. If I lie down, you know good. I sit down, you know good. I, I drink tea, you know good. I chop chips, you know. <laughs> this life is not for me at all. It's not for me, okay? It's not for me. This is me coming to Ghana to, to, to I don't know, like coming here and being all twitched and, and everything. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So after seeing this movie at some point, I was exhausted. I planned going to church the next day. So I was watching the time, kind of watching the time because I don't want to go late. And I seriously need to be in church. So I did I can identify with a church in this new place that I am okay so everything i'm doing i'm just watching the time you know so that i won't be late i was seeing this movie i was still checking the time i don't know you know sleep late at some point i just had to turn it off turn it off completely so that i can rest my head and wake up stronger to praise god the next day in church i had plans but unfortunately something happened Something happened. Stick to the end of this movie. Let me tell you what happened. Stick to the end. Let me tell you what happened. Bullshit. Apply yourself. He's got that. Come on, car. Never say you flank 
flanking, flanking, flanking. Where's the line of shit? You flank left. Let's see if there's a chance to go middle. Love. So what happened was that after watching this movie, I got so tired, I got so exhausted, I needed to sleep so I can go to church on Sunday. I turned off the television, I was done with my movie night. But guess what? At the end of the day, I couldn't make it to church in the morning. That was what happened. Can you believe that? I still couldn't go to church. Please don't be like me, okay? Bye!